Today we will talk about the Battle of Okinawa in 1945, the bloody landing of World War II. As World War II draws to a close, the European front is drawing to a close. Many areas invaded by Nazi Germany were liberated by the Allies and the Soviet Union. The Allies believe that the control of Okinawa plays an important role in victory, in the Pacific, front. Because this is the direction to move directly into Japan. Okinawa is the largest island in the Ryukyu Islands, located in the southern part of Japan. And only 565 kilometers from the mainland. Allied forces assessed, they could not successfully enter the Japanese mainland without capturing the airfields on this island. The Battle of Okinawa took place on that basis, with the largest amphibious scale in the Pacific front. The Tokyo side also realized the important role of the island, so they tried to strengthen their forces and defensive positions. They maneuvered the most powerful battleships, including the super battleship Yamato, to protect the island. In particular, the Japanese Air Force mobilized thousands of aircraft for the kamikaze suicide attack strategy. With the determination to take Okinawa, the US mobilized a huge force. The main part of the campaign was the 10th Army, commanded by Lieutenant General Simon Bolivar Buckner. Composed of 102,000 Army soldiers, 88,000 Marines and 18,000 Marines. 450 warships of all kinds, including 17 aircraft carriers, hundreds of amphibious ships, and 1,000 combat aircraft. In addition, there was the coordination and support of 98,000 British troops. Japan's defense force consisted of 130,000 troops, including 9,000 soldiers of the Imperial Japanese Navy. The rest belonged to the 32nd Army Corps. In addition, many other militia and paramilitary forces on the island also participated. About 1,500 aircraft were on suicide missions, along with thousands of aircraft of the Navy and Air Force. On March 26, 1945, American infantry landed on the Karama Islands, only 24 kilometers west of Okinawa. On March 31st, the Marines of the Reconnaissance Battalion landed on the shore without encountering any resistance. At Kishima, a small island 13 kilometers west of Naha, the capital of Okinawa. On April 1, 1945, the invasion of Okinawa, codenamed Iceberg, began. The American forces that landed on Higushi Beach encountered no significant resistance. After only two days, they cut the island in two. And captured two of the five key airfields, Kadena and Yomaton. On April 5, Admiral Somu Toyota ordered the second fleet to attack the Allied fleet, which was anchored at Okinawa, despite the disparities in force comparisons. At noon on April 7, over a period of more than two hours, the Japanese fleet was attacked by American planes. Causing the super battleship Yamato and cruiser Yahagi to be sunk. After a week of marching, occupying key positions but still not meeting the Japanese fascist forces, two American infantry divisions were ordered to descend to the foot of the Shuri Mountains. The Americans were suddenly met with strong resistance around the summits of Cactus, Kianiku, and Tombstone. The Japanese 63rd Brigade fought back tenaciously from the 6th to the 8th of April. It was not until the night of April 8th, that the American Corps captured the top of the mountain, after destroying a number of strong defensive positions of the Japanese. However, the battle at the Shuri Line had only just begun. The US Army's next target was Mount Kikazu, but was pushed back from wave to wave, due to strong Japanese fire. It was not until April 12th, that American troops captured the top of this mountain. Meanwhile, the division in the east advanced very slowly, because of the difficult terrain and the strong resistance of the Japanese army. Realizing that the American army was increasingly bogged down in front of the Shuri Line, General Ushijima Misuru came up with a counterattack plan. However, due to asynchronous combat coordination, plus too much firepower from the US army, the counterattack was unsuccessful. The Japanese counterattack continued on April 13 and 14, preventing the advance of the American troops. But at the same time, thousands of Japanese soldiers died in battle. While fierce fighting was beginning at the Shuri Line, the Japanese High Command decided to launch a new attack on the Allied fleet off Okinawa. At 7.30 am on April 13, there were 185 Then Fong planes bringing Zoro fighters and torpedo bombers to support and attack the US Navy off Okinawa. A flying bomb hit the destroyer Manor L. Abel, which blew up, cut it in two, and sank. While in the south, the Americans were gradually bogged down, in the north they advanced easily. 
The 6th Marine Division advanced to the Ishikawa Isthmus, a forested area with a small Japanese defense force. Despite winning this isthmus, the American forces lost more than 1,000 troops. On April 16, an American infantry division landed on the island of Iwo Shima. Here, they faced fierce resistance, from the attacks of informed aircraft and from Japanese women, armed with weapons. On April 21st, fighting in Iwo Shima ended. And the island became a new airbase, against the Japanese. From April 25th to 28th, an American division was deployed in reinforcements to Okinawa. After a month of successful resistance and because the Shuri Line was still held, the Japanese decided to counterattack. But could not repel the American army. On May 11, the US 10th Air Force reopened the breakthrough to the Japanese line, with forces in both the west and the east. Although the Japanese resisted fiercely, on May 21, the American troops besieged the town of Shuri from three sides. The Shuri line seemed to have collapsed. The Japanese retreated 15 kilometers south, forming the last line of defense. On June 1, the American army approached the last stronghold of the Japanese army. They began to attack the weakest position of the Japanese defense, a mountain full of caves, on the Okinawa naval base. On the Oraku Peninsula, where 2,000 Marines are stationed. On June 11, the 6th Marine Division surrounded the entire Japanese army here. And on June 14, American troops captured this place, after suffering 1,700 casualties. The Japanese side is dead. On June 18, for days before the end of the battle, General Simon Bolivar Buckner Jr., commander of the U.S. troops in Okinawa, was on his way to march, when the Japanese ambushed with mortars. Explosive bullets smashed into him, killing him before the final victory. The next day, General Claudius EAS was killed in battle. At 5 p.m. on June 21, the U.S. side declared Okinawa safe. Although in some places the Japanese were still fighting until July 2. Also on June 21, General Ushijima cut his hair, shaved his beard and wrote a letter to the emperor, apologizing for not being able to keep the island. On the afternoon of June 22, he knelt to the north and bowed three times. After that, General Ushijima committed suicide. Before that, Ushijima had ordered Colonel Yahara to live, so that someone could tell about the Battle of Okinawa. As a result, Yahara was the only high-ranking officer on the Japanese side still alive. On July 2, the Battle of Okinawa officially ended. The Allies won and occupied the island of Okinawa. For Japan, the Battle of Okinawa was the first time in World War II that it had to confront an enemy on its own territory. Most believe that they will surely die if they fall into the hands of the Allies. Should choose to attack or commit suicide, instead of suffering the humiliation of failure. Therefore, in addition to the suicide pilots, many Japanese soldiers chose to commit suicide using the seppuku ritual. The US side also suffered heavy losses. In total, more than 100,000 Japanese and 14,000 Allied soldiers died, in the Battle of Okinawa. Along with more than 65,000 others were injured. Less than two months after the fall at Okinawa. Along with the US dropping two atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the Japanese Empire announced its surrender to the Allies. The bloodiest war in human history has officially ended. If you've just finished watching the video, let me know what you think, by commenting below. What do you think about this video? If you like it, please like, share. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell, so as not to miss the next interesting content.